Okay, tonight's uh, presentation is going to be on uh, quarterback and receiver mechanics within the youth double wing. Um, I have been uh, I've been developing uh, wide receivers and quarterbacks for going on about 15 years now um, within the youth double wing system, and I've been coaching football for about 25 years now. And I actually grew up in a run and shoot um, West Coast hybrid offense as a coach, and uh, I had the, the good fortune of working with a couple of really good head coaches and offensive coordinators while I was uh, growing up in that system as an assistant coach, um, learning how to uh, develop quarterbacks and wide receivers. And, of course, you know, going to clinics and uh, listening to some of some really good coaches on the, uh, the dumb coach board and info sports and e-teams and places like that so it kind of allowed me to develop um, – my own way of uh, doing things with uh, younger receivers, younger passers. Um, so I'm kind of impart this on to you guys tonight, what I, what I do, and hopefully you get something from it. <clears throat> so uh, as far as quarterback mechanics, these are things that I consider important. Um, throwing mechanics obviously is one of them. Um, developing your quarterback under center and uh, in gun, shotgun. Um, I, I, my feeling is, is that quarterbacks need to do, do both. Even if you're primarily a, a direct snap um, system, I still like to spend time teaching the quarterback how to take a snap from under to center and taking drops and stuff. I think, I think for their development, it's important. So um, my offense kind of encompasses both. Um, there's many seasons where I've run probably 90, 95 96 percent of my offense from the gun but um, my quarterbacks still learn under the center techniques there's other seasons where we've been completely un, um, under center and used very little shotgun but my my quarterbacks still learn how to do things from gun so um, i just i feel it's important because you never know what you're going to need or what you're going to run into um, a couple of things that we develop in our quarterbacks is a quick step progression, a three step progression, um, power play action, and boot play action. Um, power being play action to the play side, boot being um, play action or uh, passing away from the, the, the flow, and uh, power being um, passing under the flow. Um, drill progressions for quarterbacks. Um, I'm going to go over that tonight. And then um, off-season training, some of the stuff that we do in the off-season with our quarterbacks to get them ready um, to do, and for continuing development. So that's what we're going to talk about for quarterbacks tonight. And then once we get by past that, I'll talk about our what we do with our wide receivers as well. <clears throat> um, I have learned a great deal um, about developing quarterbacks from Mike Mahonas. Um, so... I had the good fortune of getting one of his, uh, he wrote a book with his son, Mike Jr., a long time ago, um, and he sent me a copy of it, and I have probably picked Mike's brain um, probably over the last 10, 12 years, and uh, he is a wealth of knowledge, and uh, these these next couple of slides are actually slides that Mike made, um, but they are stuff that I've been using from Mike for a very long time, and uh I just want to give all the compliments here to Mike because they're they're his slides. But not only that, it's it's a lot of his ideas on how to uh, teach a young quarterback, specifically a young quarterback, um, how to throw the ball and what the important points are. Um, I do I do like uh, Darren Slack stuff, and I use a lot of Darren Slack stuff. But uh, in the beginning, when I start teaching young players how to throw the football. I really stick to the, the fundamentals of it, and I don't stress out about a lot of the little things. What I want the kid to do is get comfortable throwing the football, being able to throw it with some velocity, and then work on fine-tuning his accuracy. So, um, um, like I said, Mike uh, wrote a book uh, back in 2003, 2004, I believe, and uh, he just kind of uh, has improved upon that with these slides, so I figured these would be better than the notes that he had in his book. But these came directly from Mike Mahonas. Um, one of the things that he got, he does is a basic passing drill, um, and I use it quite a bit. And if you see here, really he what he stresses is um, 
is is creating that pre that pre pass triangle with the elbows and the hands and the ball with the nose of the ball pointed out. He um, you really want to stress the L to the ear. That is the elbows cocked, the hand is up, the football is near the ear, and the ball is pointed out. And then when the throw starts, you really want to develop that um, elbow lead. And I really, this is where I put an emphasis on it. I really think when you start throwing the football, you have to tell the kid that you're going to basically lead off with the shoulder followed by the elbow. So it should actually be hip, shoulder, elbow, football. And that's kind of how we, we teach our kid to throw. And what I mean by that is if you think about the way um, a football should be properly thrown, um, if, the, if the passer is snapping his body, using his entire body, and you watch a, quarter, a good quarterback go through his throwing motion, what you will see is you will see his hips start to move forward, then followed by his shoulder, then the snapping of his elbow, followed by the wrist, hand, and football, all in one continuous motion.